Okay, so today marks the start, finally, of the XCOM tutorial where we're going to be building a map editor, uh, a battlescape creation thing where we just kind of stitch our maps together procedurally and then we're going to have battles on that as well. And I'd like to say a big thank you to Daddy Fat Flab for sponsoring this whole series. Uh, if it wasn't for him, this probably would not have happened. So thank you so much. Let's get started. Okay, so we have a brand new project, completely fresh, nothing is inside it yet. So uh, we're gonna rename the first room to RM Main. And we're gonna set the width to 640. Yeah, 640 by 480. And we're going to enable viewports, go into viewport zero, set it to visible. You'll see the white rectangle pop up and then 640 by 480 for the camera properties and the same for the viewport. So we're just setting up the game screen right now. So that's done. Uh, we're going to copy, we're going to duplicate this room just to make it easier to copy these settings and we'll call it uh, map editor and uh, the next thing we need to do is create two objects the first object is going to be called obj controller and we're going to plunk this into the main room and we're going to make a second object called obj map editor and we're going to stick that inside the second room rm map editor uh, the reason we're doing this is to save us switching things around later on we're going to have a control object that starts in the main room and depending on whether we want to uh, play the game or edit maps uh, we're going to go to different rooms, but to start with, we have to make a map editor. So uh, we're going to be going straight to the map room, first of all. Okay, so now if we run the game, it's going to be really boring because we don't have any code or any sprites. So the next thing we need to do is add some sprites. I will give you a link in the description box to get these sprites. But for myself, I'm just going to use... Uh, I'm going to be doing the add existing trick okay so uh, after adding the sprites there should be six different sprites and this first one is called t-grass all it's for is so we can get the dimensions the width and height of the isometric tile that we're using um, it has to be just the diamond part the top part of the tile if you have tiles that have extra stuff below it like this to give it depth um, do not use that just get the top part like this otherwise your drawing coordinates are going to be messed up um, then we have some sprites for the actual tiles themselves we have uh, this one for the floor like this uh, we have this one for the west wall we have this one for the north wall and we have this one for decoration finally oh well, let me just say is first of all you, you notice that uh, the ver the first index of all of these four tile sprites the first index is always blank because we want to say if there is no tile there if, if there's nothing to draw then just draw this blank thing or nothing at all so um zero is always going to be nothing basically and then finally we have a cursor this one here just so we can see where the hell we are in the map when we are doing things and uh, that's it for this video uh short and sweet we have everything we need to get on with the code and start with our map editor i will see you in the next episode mm -hmm.